Greetings and salutations everyone, I am as always Darth Devious bringing you another video review this time from Planet X, it's Summonus, their take on the fall of Cybertron Snarl. And I must say, out of all these full of Cybertron Dinobots right now, he's my favorite. Though I keep hearing really good things about Quirinus, their version of Slag, so yeah. I'm actually looking forward to hopefully getting that one day. But he is outstanding in pretty much both his modes. Um, he beats the crap out of Neptune. Neptune's a good figure. He took, took all that they learned from Neptune, took it a step further... And it's just really cool. Let me see. Stuff I can't read. Mornings and stuff like that. We'll get that out of here. And the box for him and Neptune were pretty much the same. And you see, here he is. And here he is. He's a Stegosaurus. And he's pretty cool looking. Really nice. Really nicely detailed figure. Again... You got some more of the red paint for, like, the Energon. I love all these things. These are so nice. And these back ones, you can move a little bit, some of them. Part of that's because of transformation, things like that. But, uh, he's, he's really cool. And these feel like they could break if you're not careful, so do be careful. They're not, I don't think they're going to break unless you really, really flex them. But, you know, it's clear plastic. You want to be careful. But he's cool. He really is. His mouth opens. Like all the others. And, uh, yeah. Articulation in this mode. His head can go up and down a teeny tiny bit. That's lacking, but because of how he transforms, I can see that. But he's got a joint here. It's not a ball joint, but it is a joint nonetheless. And he's got a ball joint here. So you can actually bring these paws, his front paws in like he's, he's going... <laughs> and then he's got, you know, toes that move. Wiggle waggle a little bit. And then back here, just like on Neptune, these become his arms. But he doesn't have ratchets in there. And he's got a nice swivel. He's got a decent knee. Well, not really, but... It's okay. And then he's got this paw wiggle, too. And what's cool is, if you do it right when you transform him into beast mode from robot mode, you get a little bit of a automorph with the hand here going in. I don't know if that was intentional or if that's just what happened when they designed him. So, yeah. He can get up on, on his hind legs. And he's going to punch you. <laughs> so, yeah. Get him in an attack pose. He's going to whack you with his tail. No, you don't get no movement in the tail, but, you know. What can you do? It's still cool. If he uses what, what becomes his elbow joints, because his elbow joints actually go like this in robot mode. But if you use those in conjunction with, with the knee, you can get him a little bit further down, get him hunched down a little bit. So that's kind of cool. I like this. I like this guy a lot. He really is cool. He comes with some weapons too. Comes with two of these triple barreled guns. Can't remember what any of these cannons are called from the game, but they're they're not they're they're identical. Nice silver paint on them, some red paint on them. They're cool. And he comes with these lovely swords, which are very sharp, so be careful. But they're they're really nice. They actually evoke um, Grimlock's sword, where it's the clear plastic. It's almost the same shade. But, unfortunately, they dropped the ball when they made uh, Kalos's weapons. Because his are just painted red, and I would have loved that this was clear. It would have matched the aesthetic from all the others. The others have clear bits in their weapons. 
it is what it is, though. But it's nice that he's got swords. Get them off to the side. Put him back. We'll bring in Neptune. And you see, Neptune is a lot bigger and wider. Um, Summonus is longer. In in robot mode, Neptune is the largest. So we'll, you'll see that. Um, here is Swoop. And see, he's tiny compared to the others. And he really is. He's, he's small. And then Hasbro's Grimlock. So, you know, Mr. Hollow Belly. And, yeah, Grimlock doesn't really fit in this anymore. I don't know. I'm glad they're making their own Grimlock. We'll deal with it when it comes out. All right. Get all these guys out of here as I whack the camera all over the place. Yay, because I'm a professional. Not at all. So I'm going to get him into robot mode, and we'll take a better look at his robot mode. And we'll call it a day. Alrighty, I've got Summonus in his robot mode. Um, I will say that this is being recorded probably about two hours after I transformed him into robot mode. His hips are not the greatest. They're supposed to be ratchets. The ratchets kind of have worn out after a very short time. So I just spent the last you know, two hours tightening them up and everything else, but he seems to be okay now. They're, they're, they're still a little looser than I would like, but there's a lot more friction now built in there so that, you know, once everything is all settled down, he'll still stand straight like this. And what, what's cool is his swords can peg onto his hips like this, so it looks like they're, you know, they're, they're sheathed on his hips there, stored there. It's a ni nice place for him. <clears throat> um, I know on uh, Quirinus, the new guy, that that his store like that, but his are actually in sheaths, which is, which is an added bonus. So like I said, they've, they've improved with each figure. Um, yeah. He's still pretty cool. Um, the hip issue kind of caught me off guard here because I didn't have it when I first got him. This was kind of new. We'll zoom in on his face. He's got a nice face. He too has some decent light piping, as you can see there. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And his head can move. It's on a ball joint. Um, the fins behind his head kind of get in the way, but still. He can move him back and forth, and he has a little bit of a wiggle and a waggle, but, you know, it is what it is. And I like how his tail compacts really nicely onto his back, really nicely, and it, it, it all accordions together and tabs in in the back, and it keeps these from being flop, flopping all over the place, the, the, the back tail pieces there, the bigger pieces. It's really cool. He, he he still is my favorite of all these full of Cybertron Dinobots so far. For his articulation, I showed you his head. He does have a waist. Um, his arms out like this. 360, you know. They have a swivel here, about a 90 degree bend. Nothing at the wrist. His Fists do open and close, but he's got no wrist swivels. Um, his hips, I'm going to be gentle with. They are supposed to be ratchet. I've kind of, right now I've got a lot of clear nail polish in there. They rotate back and forth as the kids are upstairs playing and making noise. He's got two ratchets on his knees. Now one is for transformation, one's his actual knee joint, but you can make use of them if you need to. And then his foot, his feet, which are really cool, they are on a ball joint, so you get a lot of movement there. And then the toe can also pivot. That's more for transformation, but you can make use of that. 
So yeah. So he's cool. And of course he can't hold his guns. If you want. So you can see there he is holding his gun. He's got his swords pegged in behind him. Don't you start. He's starting to do that. Yeah. I might have to give him a couple days and then redo his hips again. I don't know. It kind of makes me mad because he was fine until I went to go record this review. Live and learn, people. Live and learn. Never record reviews because figures will fail. He could hold his other gun. You could tab it on his shoulder if you wanted to. Uh, there's not really anywhere on his back to store, but you can, you know, you can hold them both, or you can hold a gun and a sword, and you can peg it onto his hip if you're using a sword. So, <laughs> move him back, and maybe the freaking wall will hold him up. We'll bring in Neptune. See, Neptune, there's a lot, he's taller, and he's also a lot wider. Yeah. Kalis, of course, is very small. He's he's compared to all the other Dinobots, he is very, very tiny. And finally, Hasbro's Grimlock to show how badly Hasbro missed the mark when they made Grimlock. But still, they do make a nice team. Nice little team of Dinobots here. Now, I do highly recommend him. Um, the hip issue side, because I didn't, like I said, when I first got him, his hips were fine. And I guess they just didn't build his hips to be strong enough for the long haul, I guess. Hopefully, once everything cures on him and everything tightens up, um, he'll he'll hold better but you see he's got a lot of free play here and I'm just not not enjoying that in fact the swords are pretty much holding him up right now I can live with that he's just gonna go on display like this anyway he's just not gonna be not gonna be moved around too much more but I still recommend him. I mean you might get one where the hips are fine um, the ratchets are in better shape I, I, it astounds me that the Ratchets have given out this fast. Just in the one place where you really needed them. Anyway. He's still a great figure. Now, I know no figure is perfect. And I know I'm going to get a whole thing about, oh, third party figures suck. He didn't. He doesn't. He's a really good figure. Just. And I do have plugs for these screw holes here. I just, I haven't put them in there. Because frankly, I, they don't bother me. And the, the screw covers are a different color. So to me, it's going to stay there. Because they're, they're, they're like the same color as the sword handle. And they'll just stick out just as much in his arms. Yeah. Neptune came with screw covers as well, but his were the right color. Too bad I used them all. I would have used them on him. Anyway. That's it. You guys be good, or I'll send him after you. Because, you know, I can. He'll turn into a dinosaur and whip you with that tail, and that'll hurt. So be good. Later.